Alinsky's first two years at university were a struggle. But in his junior year, he enrolled in a class that would change everything. The course was social pathology. The professor, E.W. Burgess. Burgess and his colleague, Robert Ezra Park, were focused on reforming America's cities. They believed the diseases of crime and poverty, of social disorganization, to have an external or ecological cause. Chicago sociology was all about field study and the processes of social control and engineering. It had a Darwinian-based secularist evolutionary view of social change, pragmatism, and progress. Marriage and family were devalued and self-identity was achieved by imagining how we look from another person's perspective. This collectivist mental image is called the looking glass self and is socially constructed in Marxist terms. Father Mitch Pacwa is an American Jesuit priest, public speaker, and television host of EWTN Live. 1-800-585-9396. Open line Wednesday with Father Mitch Pacwa. See my picture, my gator? This becomes highly problematic when you take a look at somebody like Saul Alinsky. One of the philosophers I really connected with was uh, Maurice Merleau-Ponty, who did a book called Phenomenology of Perception. Wonderful book. Mm -hmm. And in that, he brings out that if you have as your intention an abstract goodness, then you will have an abstraction of the objects of your attention. You'll treat them as abstractions because you're seeking abstract goals. And so, you see, as a classic example, is Marxism. 